What's up, everybody? November 23rd, right? 23rd, fuck, we're in Chicago. It was an awesome weekend, you know? We were Cold reporting shit. live. Cold as shit, definitely that. But today's the November 23rd vlog. Um, this nigga Eric is flirting, you know how that goes, but fuck it, man. <laughs> Uh, anyhow, we just wanted to be on some serious shit real quick. I was just, uh, I had a quote earlier about um, hope become, you know, becoming like a habit. Like, you can permanently become happy if, uh, you know, you practice it and you surround yourself around it. Like, so, you know, for 2008, 2009, dead all that bull depressed shit. You know what I mean? Like, get on your grind, for real, for real. Stop being lazy and reading all this shit you hear about. We about to be in another Great Depression and all that shit. That shit becomes psychological. You start thinking that, and that's what it becomes for you and everybody you surround yourself with. You know what I mean, I got groupings of friends from fucking bums to um, millionaires. You know what I mean? And I could go anywhere in between. And right now, you're about to hear from three young, professional, good-looking black men. So ladies, look out. Because, you know, penny droppers... That's what we do. We get it popping, but we also educate and have fun. I'm going to let y'all hear from my, my, my mans and thems. Go ahead, uh, Eric. You know, how was your weekend in Chicago, brother? Oh, it was, it was great. It was very prosperous. Um, niggas got chopped and screwed. <laughs> niggas got <laughs> chopped and screwed. Real talk. <laughs> how many clubs? Hold on, hold on. First of all, what, what happened the first night? The first night we got here, right? Okay. Uh, the first night. Yeah, this is the yeah, night that your like, man uh, hopped over the bar, <laughs> <laughs> stole two <laughs> bottles, and tried to. What, what was the exact word? I really don't know. It was, I was for less of a word, try to escape with them. Right. Yeah. So basically, one of our friends bought a fucking bottle, right? Bottle of rose. Niggas is in there fucking with bitches, drinking. Sorry, but it's raw. Um, drinking. <laughs> you know what I mean? And then niggas stole a bottle. Niggas get kicked He's out. The bar. You know what I mean? Or some silly shit. It wasn't no broke shit. Yeah. For real. What, what we spent this whole uh, in just two days? At least two G's. Two G's and three guys between three guys. Yeah. That's crazy. That's not even including our boy Chris to sleep right now and his tidy whities and shit. But that's a whole high different. top thong. High top <laughs> thong. Chris is the homeboy though. Don't get it twisted. We clown all day. That's what we really do. You know what I mean? Niggas stay chopping, school, working, educated. Smashing bags, you know, the whole nine, whatever. Showing love, period. That's what's most important, you know what I mean? Show more love than hate, please, y'all. Anybody watching this, dead all that hate shit. We don't like hate. Yeah, you know what I mean? Can, can you uh, give us a couple stories of taxi cab confessions? We know that shit was um, funny. Yeah, just some, rem just, you know, reminiscing about stuff. Yeah. Man, just been clowning the whole week, bro. The taxi cab, that was one of the, that was one of the highlights, uh, Basically, we were in there climbing up the taxi cab. Monty was, Monty, basically, I'll tell you what happened. Monty was flirting with the taxi cab driver. <laughs> Easy. Listen to the man. This nigga's a super joke. We were talking about a, yeah, about a 35 year old male. But nah, yeah, we was just clowning. Uh, what else was. Uh, the dinner. We went to dinner Saturday. Yeah. Argentinian. Argentina spot. Arch it was dope. Steakhouse. Tango, Soror or something. That Tango shit was... Soup. Yo, it was a bring your own bottle spot. So y'all can imagine how choppy and screwy was. You know, check our Facebooks, our MySpace for the pictures and shit. We was definitely at that point. Also, um, when me and, you know, um, Eric left one of the clubs we were at, we probably hit about, what, four or five clubs? At least. You know what I mean? We twisted, walking around Chicago, didn't know where we was going. But hit some dope spots. Met these Jewish cats that got us in some exclusive spot, and we kicked it hard. But hey, it was just fun, you know. What I mean, the whole weekend we're gonna go back to Ohio in just a second and probably do it just as hard. You know what I mean, not, we're not calling Ohio whack by no means, but we are international. No. You know what I mean? We get hard. Hold on, hold on, hold on. Gabe got something. He's got to correct. I would me. like to get this straight. <clears throat> Columbus isn't whack. It's just not tampering with Chicago. Yeah, it's not on this caliber. Yeah. Right now. Um, but I like I like Columbia. It's just different. Yeah, it's home. You know, you always gonna love home. But once you get out and see some different shit, you really experience is the best teacher. That's what I said in that very first vlog, y'all. I know, know y'all remember that. But um, you know I mean, we we seen a lot in two days. We've done a lot. Obviously, we just told you niggas blew like two stacks. Not that we're bragging, cause that's not cool. But I mean, we had fun. You know what I mean? All in all, it was a good night. So um. Oh yeah. 
But after that, yeah, so I was just going to run through Saturday. Oh, run through Saturday. Give them Saturday. So, yeah, oh, Friday was just retarded, but on Friday night, everybody was sleeping until about 3 or 4 Saturday. But, yeah, went, went and got dinner. Prior, prior, we got lunch somewhere. Where we go? We went to Minnie's. It's a nice little spot. Yeah, yeah. Okay. But um, we went. We had a uh, dinner. Then we went to the Victor Hotel. It was retarded. Oh my god. Um, got some bottles there. Yeah. Just celebrated, you know. Real hard. Real yeah. hard. We showed Chris mad love. We definitely did, man. Yeah. And that's how we don't. That's how we move as friends, though. On some real genuine shit. You know what I mean? Like, none of that hate and shit. You Racked know? up about. $120 worth of parking tickets at the same time. Yeah, did that too. You know what I mean, so we had a super experience. Hold on, let's talk. We gotta talk about funny shit because nigga, I had so much fun just clowning. Uh, too right now. Let's flirt with my own fun. Monty, yeah, Monty. Saturday night. Oh, hold on. Saturday night, Monty was clap. Clap. I don't even know. I don't even know how he got back here. Yeah. But nigga walked in by himself. Yeah. Nobody and, else with him. In, in his tidy whities Oh, man. Your boy had a <laughs> scarf with a wife beater on. Your boy had a scarf, a wife beater, like two beanies on, some sneakers. He was knocked out in his whole attire. <laughs> Woke up singing Patron on Ice, just rolled over him, and fell back asleep. It just said Patron on Ice. Oh, man. And then rolled back over. I don't know. This is what these cats tell me. I might have, though. You know what I mean? Like. <laughs> oh, yeah. Friday, we was at... Did y'all, did y'all uh, explain them about the bottles where we was at? Yeah. The Kanye spot? Oh, uh, yeah. We, we told them. Go, go ahead. Go ahead. Right? Boutique. Yeah, we are... We, like we explained, we had the bottles at Boutique, and this is the night that your friend... No, nigga. Let's talk about... Let's talk about... Who cares about the details? Let's talk about the funny shit that happened at Boutique. Like what? The whole the whole incident. Oh. What was, the, hi- what was the highlight? Oh, we already said it, man. We hopped over to the bar, <laughs> took the drinks. After he bought, he bought a bottle of like two hundred dollar rose, hundred dollar rose, and um, yeah, but hey, no, but real talk, uh, Chris was saying, that, oh yeah, y'all broke that bottle of Patron too. They broke it. Didn't, didn't they charge you for that Patron? Yeah, like, they charged him hundred dollars. Right, but no, it's two fifty. Like they were very generous with us that you know the young niggas didn't go to jail. Cause and Monty has footage of he was basically heckling the bouncers, and <laughs> I heard that's not what you do around here. Niggas getting beat up around here for doing that. Yeah, that's so, probably true. Bro. Fuck it all in all, we had fun. One dude was trying to get in the club, he was tight, we had on sneakers and shit. He he came in there with no hard bottles on they they denied him. It was funny, man. We went hard at him too, so we was just going at everybody, having fun and shit. Chris had some beautiful women around, you know what I mean? So we enjoyed that presence. And um we will be returning to Shy Town soon, you know. Ain't much else to be said, man. We about to